promoted proximal sequences as regulatory sequences that are required in transcription, especially in higher eukaryotes. So let us look at the learning outcomes of this session. Promoter proximal sequences are always generally present upstream of the core promoter region and they are regulatory cis elements. So they are basically DNA motifs that influence the transcription activity. These are present anywhere between minus 50 to minus 500 upstream of the transcription start site, although majorly they have been found between minus 70 to minus 200 base pairs. The commonly found promoter proximal sequences are the cat box and the GC box. Mutations within these cis elements and also the distance between the start site and the cis element has been observed to be highly critical. As alterations in uh, the sequence or the distance between the transcription start site and cis element have led to change in the transcriptional activity. In fact, in many cases, it is almost like not having those promoter uh, cis elements at all. So uh, let us look at how the promoter proximal sequences are arranged. So when you have a gene that has to be transcribed, upstream of this gene at around minus 31 to minus 26 base pairs, you have the Tata box. This is where the Tata binding protein of the TF2D complex binds and initiates the process of forming the pre-initiation complex. But what has been observed is for many genes in higher eukaryotes, the um, presence of cis elements upstream of the Tata box have always helped in uh, positioning of the or loading of the entire transcription machinery onto the Tata, onto the promoter region. So uh, at about minus 70 to minus 100 base pairs is present what is called as a CCAT box. So CCAT is the consensus sequence and it is generally called as the CAT box. Uh, this is preceded upstream by at a certain distance approximately around minus 200 by a, uh, another uh, uh, cis element or DNA motif which is called as the GC box in which of course the consensus sequence is GGG, CGG. That's the reason why it is being called as the GC box. And in certain genes, upstream of even the GC box is present certain other stress elements which also fall within the promoter proximal sequences and they are either GCCA, CACCC or they could be ATG, CAAAT. So these are the two other sequences that have been found to be uh, part of the promoter proximal sequences. Now, what has been understood is that these sequences which fall within minus 70 to about minus 200 base pairs and beyond. So if you have these sequences, it can go to minus 500. So those motifs that fall within that particular stretch of DNA are generally considered to be falling into promoter proximal sequences. Majorly, most genes have the cat box and the GC box. Now these, therefore, can be there can be multiple transcription factor binding sites. That is what we meant within the promoter proximal regions. So it's not one or it's not just two. It can be more that uh, you have more cis elements being present. Now, interestingly, what has been observed is that the promoter uh, sequences, proximal promoter sequences need not directly influence the uh, you know, binding of the transcription machinery or need not directly affect the activity of the transcri uh, transcription activity. They might just be tethering regions for distal regulatory sequences. So you may have certain sequences present in another chromosome or say may be present about 2 KB, 5 KB away in the same chromosome. Then those distal regulatory uh, uh, sequences with the proteins bound to them actually are able to tether to these promoter proximal uh, sequences with its, uh, with its uh, uh, proteins attached in helping to uh, influence the transcription process.
Now, what has also been observed is that within these promoter proximal sequences are therefore present signature sequences that may relate to tissue specific expression as well as regulation by enhancers and enhancers are what are called as distal regulatory sequences. I mean they are one of the distal regulatory sequences. Now what has been studied very extensively it has been studied the entire region right from the transcription start point to about 500 base pairs upstream okay the region in fact single single nucleotide mutations have been carried out to find out what is the effect that a single point mutation has on the transcription activity or on transcription per se of a particular gene. So when these mutations were carried out, what was observed is only certain points where you see the black, the mutations were not carried out. Otherwise, most of the nucleotides, you had the uh, base pairs, you had the um, mutation being carried out or alteration being carried out. And interestingly, what was found is that the regions that correspond to the Tata box, the region that corresponds to the CAT box and the region that corresponds to GC box, if you have alterations within this consensus sequence, then you can see that the rate of transcription or the rate of transcription, the transcription level itself decreases to a great extent. Okay, so that's the reason that you can conclude from this study is that uh, you are in need or the genes are in need of the GC box and the CAT box for uh, transcription such that it is greater than one you know you have when you can compare it with normal promoter regions that are not regulated you consider that as one okay so those those if you want to compare it with those genes then these sequences are required for transcription to come to that level so therefore this is also suggestive of one more thing is that if there is an alteration in either the cat box or in the gc box then you can see that transcription decreases and that means that both CAT and the GC box are enhancers or they are basically, they're not enhancers, but they are, but they are influencing the transcription in such a way that the transcription activity increases. So that is something that comes out of this particular study. Now, when you look at the CAT box per se, uh, there is a high degree of conservation within the CAT motif. That means the CCAAT sequence is highly conserved across eukaryotes. You may find the same in fungi, you may find the same in human uh, 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 promoter uh, proximal sequences likewise. The cat box is found upstream of genes that need to be transcribed in large amounts. For example, tubulin, collagen, etc. Cat box is present in 25% of eukaryotic promoters. This is of course a um, or average that has been counted and the cat box binding proteins or factors bind to the cat. This is one type of proteins or transcription factors that bind to the cat region. You also have nuclear factor 1 which can bind to the cat region and both these types have been found to be trimeric complexes. Somehow this also seems to be a conserved uh, fact with respect to the transcription factors binding to CAT being trimeric. You also have what is called as CAT enhancer binding proteins and there are six CAT enhancer binding proteins found from alpha to zeta and these have had implications on, you know, they are in response to signaling, okay, they have been able to play a significant role in cell proliferation, differentiation, metabolism, immunity, etc. So you can see that CAT has a role to play in a lot of functions related to a system. Now, this is just an example of showing how the uh, nuclear factor Y in plants, okay, are able to bind specifically to the CAT sequences. If you can see in the DNA, those regions where it is blue, okay, are the regions where you have the CAT and the GC. And you can effectively see how uh, the bases interact with uh, specific sequences in the uh, nuclear factor regions. So you can see you have nuclear factor Y, 
B and A present, okay, you have A1 and A2. So together as a trimer, they're able to bind. Interestingly, what is observed is that there are many uh, NF factor, NFY factors present, in fact, subtypes present, and each are supposed to be present, I mean, each uh, different types are present in different species and thereby influencing transcription uh, from the genes or transcription of the genes that have the, uh, you know, cat box. So, in plants, it has been observed that in response to stress like drought, etc., NFI have enabled overexpression of genes required to address the stress. Now, we come to GC box. GC box is generally bound to by a transcription factor which is called as SP1. The name SP1 comes from the fact that it was first found in the semen virus, okay, uh, semen virus 40. So it's called as a, uh, it, it is called as the promoter specificity uh, binding protein 1. Now these have been found to have glutamine rich regions. So the SP1 has uh, certain conserved glutamine rich regions which are enabling them to interact with the GC box. So the consensus sequence in the GC that is conserved is able to interact with the region that is conserved within the SP1 transcription factor. What has also been understood is that SP1 is ubiquitous, ubiquitously trans, uh, uh, there is ubiquitous transcription of SP1, which means that it is uh, present, SP1 is formed or expressed in all cell types. And they have been uh, implicated in uh, cell growth, in differentiation. So therefore, what has been observed is in embryo development, SP1 has a very important role to play with angiogenesis, with apoptosis, with in fact even cellular reprogramming. And if you can see cell growth, differentiation, angiogenesis, apoptosis are hallmarks of cancer as well. So SP1 overexpression has been found to be associated with cancer. So therefore, the understanding that we have is that GC boxes is required for many genes that have to be expressed in larger amounts under certain signaling. So let us conclude. Promoter proximal elements are present within minus 70 to minus 200 base pairs upstream of the start site. Two main promoter proximal sequences are the cat box and the GC box which have been found to be conserved and consensus sequences. These cis elements have been found to be present upstream of genes that are needed to be transcribed in large amounts. Many studies have shown this. The CBF, or rather what is called as a CAT binding, CAT box binding protein or the CAT box binding factor, the nuclear factors and the CAT uh, enhancer binding proteins are the transcription factors that can bind to the CAT box, while SP1 is the transcription factor that can bind to the GC box. And with this binding being highly sequence specific. So the promoter proximal sequences enable enhancing transcription of genes in response to external and internal signals with physiological functions in cell proliferation, differentiation, reprogramming, apoptosis, etc. Thank you.